Chris Stewart once again for BamaFever.com. Alabama, a dominating effort against the Florida Gators last weekend at Bryant Denny Stadium. Now they got to turn their attention to the South Carolina Gamecocks. A few things to look for, the injury situation, I think maybe the biggest story for Alabama right now. You've got Julio Jones battling a little bit of a knee injury. Hopefully he'll be healed up by this weekend, but we've all seen how he's been so much more effective as a player without injury. I know that sounds simple, that's the way it is for everybody, but this is truly one of the most dominant players in all of college football when he's at 100%. If he's able to go uh, and, and near 100%, Alabama's offense so much more effective. Greg McElroy also took quite a beating, and I thought it was interesting what he told the media on Monday. He said, I'm sore. I've got to remind myself more and more to slide and not take those direct hits because South Carolina is a very physical football team, and they will come after him. Uh, and it's going to be interesting to see if he can get, again, close to 100% as well before the tide of the Gamecocks square off. Those are two keys. If those two guys are not able to do a whole lot, Alabama's offense much more limited. Now that doesn't mean that they're not still one of the best of the country because they are, but I think you can spend more time trying to slow down the run or stop the run if McElroy and Jones are less than 100% for the matchup. As the week goes on, we'll talk more about Alabama's defense squaring off against South Carolina's offense and what we can look for from Marcus Lattimore and Steven Garcia, as well as getting a little bit more into that Carolina defense and the problems that they can pose for Alabama, whether McElroy and Jones are healthy or not. Hope you'll check back in with us right here at BamaFever.com.